green in colour and green in nature. Stay tuned to learn how this new seed treatment could revolutionise regenerative farming in the UK. Morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. So it's Tuesday the 7th of October and uh, there's a recent comment got left saying uh, can you improve your mic and uh, I'd like to apologize because my discovery is in the garage and my microphones are all in the garage with it so I apologize for that so <coughs> I'm kneeling at the edge of the field hopefully out of the wind so this is a field of all seed rape uh, mixed in with cover crop that it was the field where we were really struggling to establish uh, due to a lot of straw it was a pretty strong crop of wheat we averaged nine tons a hectare we didn't bale the straw we tried to drill straight into it with the clay and there was a lot of stubble raking and rolling afterwards to try and compact it Subsequently, we have been back and spread compost on it at 20 tonnes a hectare. And as you, I pan across, you will see that we've actually got tram lines every 12 metres instead of 24. That is not due to the digestate, that is due to the compost spreading. So unfortunately, uh, we took a weather window when we could, but it did result in more damage. Small plants are coming up in the tram line, so we hope that it might grow over a little bit over the winter, but that is why we have tram lines every 12 meters. And subsequently we went back with digestate. So it's had 80 kilos of N through digestate. And as you can see, we've now got a quite a strong population. Our comments from our walk today was that the population is probably uh, more even and a better distribution than the early early drilled uh, crop so the early one is about um, 15 minutes down the road that was d drilled at the beginning of August and this is nearer sort of the 20th of August so quite a lot later but very even crop coming along nicely well distributed uh, the volunteers have been sprayed off so it's coming along nicely so this field is part of a larger block we're actually doing a trial in the field next door with a new biological seed treatment but this field is winter wheat following beans as you can see from the residue so it last week it was part of the more followed by roll harrow roll sequence really pleased with it i've actually just showed you a picture of the wheat germinating so it was planted on thursday of last week today's tuesday and the roots are really quite well developed he's got two roots of about an inch long so uh, we've actually had a bit of a challenge with pre-emergence but this will be sprayed today and the relevance for that is got little grass weeds like this a little bit unsure how they could have come through the glyphosate but I suspect it is a factor of the high ground temperatures so earlier in this week where we are delaying drilling the barley in an, in an effort to try and get a cleaner wheat free seed bed we've actually been back and stubble raked because we were getting these little single leaf uh, black grasses and we thought it was an opportunity to control the black grass with the stubble rake and level the seed bed in order to improve our chances of good establishment with the moor. So that has been the barley, but in here, in the wheat, things are coming along nicely as we push on for completion of winter wheat drilling. 
elsewhere on the farm, CYO were back in to help us with this trial. Serral offers both an immediate and long lasting control of a wide variety of soil borne diseases. It contains high concentrations of a bacteria which produces metabolites. After the application of cereal, a biofilm is created around the seed and the metabolites already present in the product have a direct inhibitory effect on various fungal disease present on seeds. The bacteria present will stay inactive when the seed is stored dry but after sowing and when water becomes available the bacteria will become active and rapidly start to multiply. At this stage it ensures that the seed and the first developing roots are quickly colonized. Subsequently, the bacteria will start to compete with the pathogens for nutrients and space and continue to produce more of metabolites. This will further inhibit the growth of the pathogens. Furthermore, the bacteria will stimulate the plant to start resistant reactions, which in turn prevent the pathogens from successfully infecting the young plant. You can really see from this why we're interested in seeing if this biological seed treatment provides us with a biological alternative to existing chemical seed treatments and hence why we're involved in the trial. The day after the seed treatment had been applied, we'd managed to get the seed in the ground, followed by the standard roll, harrow, roll sequence. Morning everybody, so out, we're out in a field of winter wheat. We're actually hosting a trial here. So I've got a little flag in front of me. This is the start of the trial, equip. And as we go down, we've got uh, a number of wheat varieties here. And each post, so I've got a changeover. So I've written it so that the uphill variety, so this one says, Equip at the top and then downhill is Shergar as we go along. So I think it's seven varieties we're trialling here. And this one uphill again, Shergar and then red wools. So it keeps going down. Now the idea is it is a trial to see if existing measurements taken in the AHDB recommended list, measurements taken during that process, whether they can be used as a proxy for weed control or weed competition. So they're going to check out how competitive each of these varieties are against uh, broadleaf weeds. And then they're gonna see if that equates to proxy measures taken in the past. My understanding is that this would enable them to include a weed control measure or index within the AHDB recommended list without having to rerun sort of the research all again. They can just use existing measurements. So it's quite exciting, especially in a regenerative setting, to see if different varieties have different weed control capabilities. So we're doing a 12 meter trial for each variety all the way down to the far end of this field and back again. So for the downhill, we have red at the top and Arnie on the bottom. Jack's nearly caught up with me. We've got one variety left. So X days is the trial, is the control variety. Around the rest of the field, we're growing palladium. Uh, this one we've got Arnie and Nelson. So the rest of this field has all been drilled. So you can see his green uh, section of bean volunteers. That's all that's left to drill. So hopefully we'll just finish this trial and then the, the, the rest of the field's already done. And in fact, the wheat is beginning to germinate. Uh, that's Nelson and Mayflower on this. So this section is Mayflower. It'll run out when Jack comes past me. 
and then the last section will be extase. We are getting these single leaf black grasses beginning to emerge. They've actually put on a leaf during this week. So Jack's just finished and where is it? You can just see here black grass um <laughs> wheat. I'm worried about black grass because there's black grass, but yes, the wheat is coming up in the row.